The Hoosick Tunnel, connecting Florida and North Adams, Massachusetts, was one of the biggest tunneling feats in history, stretching a total distance of 4.75 miles through the Hoosick Range. Trains entering the darkness give tribute to the length. But how often do you knowingly see something from that distance? To put this into perspective, the tower on that mountain behind me is 4.75 miles away. It really makes you think about it. But not even that distance shows the true scale of this project. There were also aligning towers, the brick factory, acid works, the compressor building, and several shafts to name a few additions. While producing onto the Hoosick onto the west, I had the privilege of taking to the air with Chuck Cahoon, avid pilot and tunnel historian. From here, one could truly see how big this project was. Join us from the air and you'll see this project in a whole new light. That down there is North Adams, the town where the groundbreaking took place way back in 1851. One of the first things done for the Hoosick project was the construction of the Little Hoosick, a 324 foot long tunnel running under Route 2, 2.15 miles down the rails from the West Portal. Here it's seen from the air. Around 1864, aligning towers were built to assist in the tunnel construction. Not many think about the work or scale they added to the tunnel. Here you can see the location of Notch Road Tower, 1.6 miles west of the West Portal. Next it was time to swing around for a pass at the West Portal. On the first pass, you could see the location of the West Shaft, Acid Works, Brick Works, and even a glimpse of the West Portal itself. The second pass gave us a clearer view of the portal. Heading up and over the range, the Spruce Hill Tower location became clear. Next up was the central shaft, which lays 2.3 miles east of the west portal and sinks down 1,028 feet to the grade below. After viewing the central shaft, it was time to head to the east portal vicinity, which had quite a bit to show. The reservoirs at Bear's Swamp aren't tunnel related, but still an impressive sight from the air. Swinging around to the east portal, a lot came into view. In this single shot, you can see the east portal, the railroad bridge over the Deerfield, the compressor building site, the sluiceway, the dam site, and the row neck tower site. Quite a lot to take in. Three quarters of a mile downstream is the Hoosick Tunnel station site, right across the river from the town of Hoosick Tunnel. Coming back over the range on the return flight, the Whitcomb Summit Tower site became visible. Heading back down towards North Adams gave some good shots of the mountain grades. No wonder they didn't build the railroad up and over. It took 24 years to build, and only 5 minutes to fly over. How times have changed. Think back at the first distance, 4.75 miles. Adding in the towers, you're now looking at a project that was, and still is, 7.1 miles long. And this doesn't even include the stations or the Little Hoosick. Also, if you had started driving a car on the highway at 60 miles per hour when this video began, you would just now be reaching the distance that the Hoosick Tunnel burrows through the mountain. 
Bet that one made you think.